guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. As you see, we are in a different place today. This is not the kitchen in my studio apartment. And you may ask, why is that so, Jennifer? Well, there is a lot that has changed since the last video I made. So I am here to update you guys on everything and I am going to give you guys right now like a quick little synopsis before I tell you what this video is going to be about. And well, long story short is that I am not in Florida anymore. I am currently living in Georgia. I just moved like three days ago. I got a job opportunity here to be a news reporter in a local station. And if you guys know, have been following me for a while, you know that has always been my goal, my dream job. And I couldn't say no to this opportunity. I have been after this opportunity for such a long time that when it came, I was ready and I dived in. And here I am about to be living my dream and I can't be any more excited. And yeah, so this video, I am going to be actually Ooh, there's a train that passes by here. It's a little bit loud. So let me wait for it to pass and then I'll keep speaking. So in this video, I'm going to be meal prepping my breakfast for the week and I am going to be meal prepping for the next two days. I don't want to meal prep today for the whole entire week because I feel like, I don't know, like the food, I'm a little bit iffy with the food um, lasting so long and if it's not, it's probably not going to taste the same at the beginning of the week than it is at, by the end of the week. So I'm a little iffy with that. Um, so I prefer just to meal prep today for the next two days and then once day I'll just meal prep for the next other three days. Um, so yeah. So let me tell you guys how I am not the greatest cook. I do not like the kitchen. I do not have the cooking gene. There was a time in my life where I wanted to learn how to cook and I tried to try doing different stuff and getting creative with recipes and things just never came out how I thought it would come out and it they just tasted all right, not great. So yeah, I do not have a cooking gene and when I decided that I was going to move here and all of that, I was trusting the fact that, oh my god, I don't have a local place anymore to go get my meal preps from and I was stressing that, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have to be cooking all the time, this and that and whatever. Turns out I was driving down my new area a few days ago and I found a meal prep service like literally across the street so you already know. That's where I'm going to be getting my meals from starting next week. But in the meantime, this week, I have to cook my own food. So let's do that. Let's jump to it. So this video is not only going to be like a little cooking tutorial, no, because not a great cook, but it's going to be basically, um, I am going to link below if I find the recipes of what I'm doing or whatever, but I am just going to be cooking and chit-chatting with you guys and just telling you how... I landed this job and how I got here so far and basically I thought this would be how many times did I say basically in that sentence my goodness um I lost my train of thought what was I saying Jennifer yeah so I thought that it would be more interesting if I did a video like why I'm doing stuff and chit chatting than if I'm sitting on the couch and just chit chatting away you guys will be like this is boring goodbye so Thought I should switch it up a bit and yeah so let's get to it the first thing I am actually gonna cook is my uh, breakfast that is going to be um, ham and cheese egg cups this is like a little muffin pan I'm gonna do some ham and cheese egg cups but I'm also gonna be doing like a bacon one with um, scrambled egg and broccoli and I'm gonna switch it up so I'm not gonna do all of them like the same flavor all right so yes let's get to it also before i get to it um there's a lot of stuff in the kitchen that i don't have so i am going to be improvising so feel free to laugh feel free to make fun of me we're all family here first thing i'm gonna do is wash my hands because rona is no joke Um, besides the breakfast cups, I am also going to be doing some ground beef um, with pasta. And I'm going to try something new I found on Pinterest. It's, uh, what is it? It's chicken and broccoli. I'll tell you guys right now what it is. Uh, 
Da da da. Let's see, Jennifer, what's it called? It's air fryer chicken and broccoli stir fry. So we'll see how that comes out. So yeah. Mm. All right, egg cups. So it says to spray the pan with um coconut oil, I think. Do not have, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some olive oil and I'm going to put some in the paper and I'm just going to put a little bit all over, pass it through like the little pan. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna be like talking about little stuff here and there, but I don't wanna make this video so long. So, let me tell you guys how how I got here, how this opportunity came around, you know. So, I, I've been holding the secret in for a long time because I actually got the job offer back in January. January? Yeah, like the end of January. And the process itself, you know, that takes a little while. Negotiations, if you are in the news industry, you know what I mean. Um... And it's a big decision, you know, I had to leave Florida, leave my family, I had just gotten a new, um, a new apartment, so I had to figure out what I was going to do with that apartment, because I had a year contract, and all of that, and it was a lot, a lot to deal with before accepting, and you know, I feel I'm a big believer in things happen for a reason, and if the opportunity came around, like, it was the perfect moment, I had been searching for a job for a long time, um, well, a news reporter job for a long time and things just happened for a reason that's you know where I was meant to go and yeah it was a long process a lot of disappointments a lot of phone interviews very 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 tedious but things I have you have to go through in this industry and yeah so long story short um, I got the offer and I decided to take it but of course, I couldn't just leave from one day to the other because I had a lot of things to deal with. All right, so I got my cheese, I got my ham, and I got my eggs. I'm gonna put two pieces of ham because these hams are like, it's literally broken. The egg is gonna like crack through. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else? So this wasn't the only um, job offer I got. Actually, I got another one in South Carolina. South Carolina? Yeah, South Carolina. So it was a little bit farther um, up north and farther from Florida where, you know, where I'm from, my family, farther from Miami. And I felt like I didn't want to leave and go that far that my family would have to take um, a, a flight to come see me or vice versa. So where I'm currently at, I, you can come by car if you're from Miami, it's only like six hours, which is great because worst case scenario, if you can't go to a nearby airport and get to me, you can just drive in or the other way around. So I thought that was super duper convenient and with this opportunity, I actually got to go to the station and meet everybody, so that was a plus too. You never want to just, I know it's my dream job, but I didn't want to go to a place that I had never like, I didn't meet anybody face to face because you really just don't know what you're in for and I didn't want to feel alone. So I felt like it's really important um, to actually go to the station, meet the people, see how it is. And since I was able to do that with this station and not the South Carolina station, I felt a little bit better with my choice, with my option and my decision. And and yeah so but the other the news director was super nice um super friendly too and helpful so i'm grateful for that opportunity as well that i was able to you know pick and choose and count um see uh balance all my pros and cons with each so that's good okay so i already put the ham and the cheese now i'm gonna crack the egg so this chit chatting thing i feel like i'm just gonna forget some stuff or like repeat myself a lot so if I do sorry about that I'm gonna crack another egg so I'm gonna probably do um like a little quick room tour so the, where I am living I don't know if I should say where exactly it is I mean I'll be on tv and on the radio on the station so you guys will probably find me somehow but whatever 
Point is, where I'm living, it's like a college town and it's super close to Florida. Literally, I'm in the borderline Florida, so that's great. And um, when I was looking for housing, like mostly everything was student housing. So I'm technically living in a student housing unit, apartment complex. So I found that pretty funny. I feel like I'm back in college. But it was just more convenient because the place already brought furniture because it's gonna be more expensive to bring my furniture all the way from Miami. So it was more convenient for me to find a place that already had furniture. So yeah, apartment housings usually do have furniture and that's why I went with it and they're more affordable, of course. Um, this is a two bedroom unit right now. I don't have a roommate, but maybe in the future they'll probably give me a roommate. So I don't know, I hope I stay alone, but who knows, whatever, we'll see from here to then. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do bacon for the rest, but I'm going to do scrap. So I'm going to be a reporter at a bureau, which means I am not at the actual station. I'm going to be on my own in the south of Georgia because an actual station is actually like an hour away from here. Um, and they have some reporters spread around into different like offices around their coverage area. So I am one of those. And I actually like that. I mean, I'm going to miss being in a newsroom setting for sure. It's super exciting. But I like to I like to be on my own sometimes. And I, I, I feel like I'm very easy for someone to depend on because, like, I know what, um, what's expected of me, what, especially in my job as a reporter and what assignment editor that I was before. So I know um, they can depend on me for information and whatever's happening like whatever you need i'll go and get it so i like that and definitely i love the fact that as a reporter you're out on the streets you don't have to be sitting behind the desk i had it with that already i did it for about three years i did not want to do it anymore um so yeah it's gonna be like a whole completely new experience but i'm super excited for it and and yes I think something really exciting is that um, I definitely want to start shooting now like content of um, like makeup tutorials for reporters, um, outfit ideas for reporters or like business casual um, outfit ideas and like stuff dealing with my job. I want to like give you guys behind the scenes and do uh, videos and stuff like that. I definitely want to make a video after like my first two weeks. Um, I do want to vlog like my first two weeks. And just, you know, share with you guys the video of how it went and the good, the bad, the, the pretty, whatever, everything. So, this is my little pack of meat, of chicken, chicken breast. So, I definitely want to do that for you guys. And, yeah. Cut that little pellejo out, because I don't like pellejo. So, yeah, that's my idea, my idea for coming up videos and um, if there's anything specific if there's anything specific you guys want to see of any like behind the scenes or anything specific you just want to see um, yeah just like reach out let me know down below I'll be happy to share it with you guys if you guys need any help and advice any reporters aspiring reporters anyone um, aspiring to join the news industry you want to know anything Hit me up, you know, social media are here. I'm happy to help. Oops, that is my timer. So my camera's memory is full. So I am finishing off this video with my iPhone. And like I had mentioned from the beginning, this wasn't gonna be like a cooking tutorial. I just wanted to cook and chat and catch you guys up on what has been going on in my life lately and all the changes so now that you guys are caught up we can move forward and i can bring you some guys i can bring you guys some cool new content and yeah so if you guys have any questions comments concerns or you guys have any suggestions or anything you want to see let me know down below don't forget to subscribe and like and i will see you guys next time bye